happy Sunday, everybody. Cold Fork, wow. <laughs> a raid as soon as soon as I hit the go live, but I mean the uh the camera button, I get a raid. What's up, Cold Fork? Thank you so much for the raid, Zaudi Eagle. How are you doing? Cold Fork, thank you so much for the raid, Sir Camp Slot. Thank you for the follow. Dang. 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 Yeah, it's all about the timing. What's up, Cold Fork? And Raiders, how are you guys doing? Welcome on in. How's everyone? I'm Scruffy Tam, Lord of Socks. Um, I'm a uh, longtime gamer. Been flight simming since September of last year. Well, actually, flight simming since August of last year. But I've been uh, streaming flight sim since September of last year. Welcome on in, everybody. Happy end of weekend to you. Hope you're well. Hope you're ready for some beautiful fly-in tonight. And a big challenge. A big challenge at the end. A six-hour tour of Eastern and Northern Europe in a Boeing C-17 Globemaster. Very cool. Very cool. I was about to ask you how long that took. Duh. Six hours, Scruffy. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, Saudi, how are you doing? Welcome back in. Good to see you. And uh, Sir Campslot, thank you so much for that follow. Thank you for that follow. So that was a little bit about me. For those of you that don't know me, uh, I'm going to scroll back to the top of chat really quick and just welcome everybody who's already joined. Infidel Fireman was first in chat. Welcome on in, Infidel Fireman. How are you doing? Good to see you. DC Viper, how are you doing, my friend? Got to clean the office up a little bit? No problem, dude. Good to see you this evening. Tam the OG, my daughter is here. John DFW is here. Game Playboy is here also. Another streamer friend as well as um, DC Viper is another streamer as well. Getting back into our regular routine. I'm so glad to see you doing that. Pilot Ryan, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you as well. Chronico, asking for the route. How you doing, my friend? Also, AZ Bubba, firing up the Microsoft Light Sim 2020. Do it. Super Typhon is in also. What's up, Super Typhon? Oh, uh, let's see here. Scrolling on down. Scrolling on down. Soxiest streamer alive. <laughs> Cole Fork, thank you for that. Uh, what plane am I flying? I'm going to be flying the Cessna 172X, the modded 172 Probably not the best choice for where we're going to be flying tonight, uh, but it's capable. It's capable of flying there. It's just really slow climbing. You know how that is. But uh, I've got a new update to the mod also where the landing gear will collapse if you hit the ground too hard. That should be interesting. Liam, thank you for the follow. Sir Camp Slot, thank you for the first time chat also. I do, I do mean Kathmandu. But if you look up the Bob Seger, the original Bob Seger song was actually misspelled Catman Do. It sure was. Oz Nomad, welcome in, my dude. How are you doing? Not gonna lie, you've flown into Lukla before. Yes. Yes. Uh Lukla, if you've ever seen Lukla, uh, if you've ever seen Lukla Airport, uh VNLK, it is the one of the hardest airports to land in the world, and it's right at the end of stream. It should be a lot of fun. Raid canceled on Final Fantasy 14. So you're ready to fly. Nice. Nice. Uh, the donate link. Yeah, Saudi. Uh, if you, I think if you just type in donate, I think. Give me just a minute, Saudi, and I will do that. Um, yeah, no problem, Viper. I totally understand. Wambi. Wambi is here. What's up, Wambi? Oh, there you go, Tam. Thank you for dropping it. Uh, Wambi, good to see you, my friend. Wambi, if you don't know Wambi, Wambi is an amazing creator of content in Microsoft Flight Sim. He is a developer. A lot of the stuff that you see, uh, he does, anyways, he does a lot of stuff behind the scenes that you've seen, but you may not know it was him. Saudi, thank you for the donation, dude. Thank you so freaking much. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you very, very much, Saudi. I, I really do. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Liam, yeah, I'm going to need more gear for sure, Bubba. Uh, thank you for the first time chat, Liam, and thank you for the follow also. I appreciate that a lot. Ori, what's up, Ori? How are you doing? You like my green screen? Nice. You've taken off in an A320 from Lukla? Dude, what? Yeah, what's everyone else going to be flying? Lopez, how are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Death Crow, <laughs> you're stuck here. You're stuck. It's like the Hotel California. <laughs> you come back, sit down for dinner, and here I am. I hope that's a good thing. Massive, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Massive Simulations is another flight sim streamer. Spent some time. What is going on? What is going on? Holy crap. I haven't even caught up with chat yet. Two raids 
right at the beginning? What? What? <laughs> I don't, what's my name? What's my name? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, good lord. Um, it's going to take me the whole stream to catch up with chat. Tam, if you would uh, shout out Massive Sim for me. Shout out Flights with Joel. Uh, thank you, Father Ryan. I appreciate the compliment. Um, yes, I do have an add-on, uh, Massive Sim. I'll talk about it in just a minute. Uh, Flights with Joel, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much. Dude, Cole Fork came in with 23 viewers. You've came in with 21 viewers. What? This is crazy. Thank you so much for the raid, Joel. And anyone that came in on that raid that may not know me, I'm Scruffy Tam. I am a longtime gamer. I've been flight simming since September, uh, since August of last year. Welcome on in. Good to see you. Dusty, thank you for the follow. Sheesh. Okay, Tam, no problem. So let me give uh, Massive Simulations a shout out. Give me just a second, really quick. I'm all about supporting other streamers. Um, Give me just a second. I have not caught up on chat yet from the time I hit the go live button. It has been absolutely banging tonight. Thank you for that. So Massive Simulations is another Flight Sim streamer friend. Spent some time in his channel um, earlier today, actually. I'm going to be flying the Cessna 172, the Steam Gauges version. Spider Steve, what's happening, dude? Thank you for coming in on the raid. Uh, Rogue Turtle Depot, thank you for the first time chat, and thank you for coming in on the raid. Iceman 333, what's happening, dude? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Boss Man, thank you for returning back to us. Good to see you again. Sheesh. How to throw it? I know, right? I know, right, Cole Fork? Throw off my train of thought in one fell swoop. Whew. Okay. Fly Lillo, what is happening? Uh, Fly Lillo, Roberto has been messaging me, but I hit go live as soon as, as, soon as I noticed. So I have not looked at Roberto's uh, messages yet. So I apologize to Roberto and to you if it was about you. How you doing, Fly Lillo? Y'all, Fly Lilo is another amazing, amazing person. A uh, disabled, disabled uh, gamer doing amazing things over on his channel. Go give him a follow. Roberto, hey, dude, I saw where you had messaged me. I'm sorry I have not messaged back yet. I didn't see it until I hit go lives. I apologize. Your headphones are sweating. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> Joel, that's hilarious. So, Flights with Joel. If you don't know Flights with Joel or, or, or Cole Fork, who both raided me as soon as I hit go live, um, go follow both of those streamers. Amazing people. I was on Flights with Joel's podcast. Uh, if you type in exclamation Joel, it'll get you the link to the podcast that I was a guest on. It was amazing. Uh, Saudi, dude, thank you so much for coming in on that raid. Thank you for the donation, man. I truly, truly appreciate that a lot. Uh, have a wonderful night. Sleep well, my friend, and have a great day at work tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow night if you can come in and join. Iceman, thank you for the lurk. Iceman is another... Sheesh, Iceman is another awesome flight sim streamer. Uh, a fellow South Carolinian lives three hours down the road from me. Great, great streamer. Go follow Iceman as well. Woo! Wow, I have um, I've dried out my mouth already from talking. I'm gonna switch to the PC scene really quick. You're from Leon, Canada, East Coast. You're a former Air Cadet. Wash out, quieter, quieter, and also as a shite streamer. And you donated to PTSD. Last person that raided you and have autism and have four flight simulators. Nice. Awesome, dude. Uh, Liam, thank you so much for the explanation uh, about yourself. Thank you for introducing yourself to us. Very interesting information there. I actually donated my um, the previous yoke and throttle I had to another streamer who helps out uh, veterans. Uh, he should get that those tomorrow, actually, in the mail. So, yeah, thank you. That's awesome that you do that, dude. Awesome stuff there. Uh, the weather and I am live time and live weather, Oz. Live time and live weather over here right now. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day over here. Emperor Kool-Aid, what's happening? Going to be lurking? No problem, dude. I totally understand, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. Stinger 1020 out. 
<laughs> yeah, Saudi. Thank you, man. Take care of yourself. So let me show you the flight plan for tonight, and then we'll get in the air. It's going to be kind of short because I figured we'd have some fun once we get to the final destination. Uh, but as the stream title says, I think we're going to Kathmandu. Any of y'all old guys in Hello. chat? Liam, thank you for the lurk. Ori, thank you for the server uh, post. Any of you old guys in chat will know the Bob Seger song, Going to Kathmandu. We're going to Kathmandu, people. So we're going to start out at um, Gautamuda. We're going to fly over to uh, this airport. Then we're going to then we're gonna land at Kathmandu. No, wait. Show us those Anyways, we will be going to Kathmandu. I think it's this airport, I think, is Kathmandu. Don't tell me I left Kathmandu out of my flight plan. Anyways, we, we're going to be doing some flying tonight. I just, Oh, I forgot. Someone did. Oh, you for, you just remembered to stop streaming. Joel, you got to do better, man. No, that's cool. Um, I have done that multiple times. Multiple times. My socks of the day. Um, I've actually got Christmas socks on tonight. I reached in my drawer, just whipped two out, and uh, it just happened to be Christmas socks. So, yeah, Christmas in July, right? So on the left, oh, excuse me, on the right foot, I've got my green socks with candy canes. On the left foot, uh, right foot, left foot, left foot, I've got my red socks with Santa on them. You guys broke me. You broke me tonight. You like my cup holder? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've got a cup holder over there. Uh, but actually, my cup, I've got my cup over here on the, on the other side. That's my spare water right there. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna be going to Kathmandu. Um whew, on the way. Thank you guys. Wow, what an amazing start to the stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a pushback first. I hope everyone had a great weekend. How was uh how was everyone's weekend plans? Mine was fantastic. Had a really nice weekend. Good time. I uh, just spent time with uh, with my daughter. Lima, how are you doing? Welcome in. You wanted to say a short hello. Hello back to you, my friend. Good to see you. Lima is another, excuse me, another flight simmer. Good friend of the community and another, another streamer friend as well. Let me shout out Lima really quick. Go follow Lima. So many Microsoft Flight Simulator um, players on Twitch. I had no idea how many people simmed Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it's it's absolutely wild. Ori, I'm actually flying the Cessna 172. It's going to be a challenge for me, but I decided to fly it. Hello. It's still hey, July. Hey, for some people, you're going back to bed. Have a great stream, Bill. Yeah, but Jelly, um, thank you. Oh, no, it's not. Actually, I forgot. It's August. It's August. Christmas in August. Sheesh. Oh, thank you, Bicelli. Appreciate you coming in and uh, for saying hello. And I don't blame you for going back to bed, dude. Have a great evening, my friend. Sleep well. Sturlo, what's happening? Sturlo, how are you doing, my friend? Work and lurk, I understand. Sturlo is another amazing flight simmer. Very, very active over on TikTok as well. Man, I see posts of yours all the time on, on TikTok. Oh, yeah, massive dude. Our community is huge, man. Huge. Death Crow's flying the Corsair. Nice. Yeah, Viper, you totally got me, man. Hello. I mean, people... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Joel. People could type just about anything in chat, and I would read it and not think anything of it. Uh, when I'm on stream, I totally just... Seriously, it's like I, I, I lose all sense of everything. It's just because I love streaming so much, and I get so focused on The Sim... And you guys that, uh, <laughs> you can probably pretty much tell me anything and I believe it. Like I said, I'm Ron Burgundy. Oh yeah. Socks time. Heck yes. They're low. You want to see some socks? Hey, what's up? Cup of jello. What's happening, man? How are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. What server? We're on us East server, us East server. So one of the reasons. Your weekend was also nice. Work out a lot of weightlifting. You had muscle pain. That's good, actually, um, I guess. I hear a both ways. I hear a both ways that, um, that you know, workouts, if, if you have pain, that's a good thing. But then I also heard it's not. I don't know. 
Anyways, every time I've ever worked out, I've had pain. What's happening, Cup of Jello? How are you doing? Good to see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that too. I'm thinking that too. Uh, Cup of Jello's, uh, bring it down a notch, dude. We're family friendly over here. You're welcome in. I mean, welcome in, but calm down a little bit on the uh, on the talk there. All right, so let's get our part break. I mean, our part break. Let's get our our checklist worked on here. Part break is on. Ken Zone Star, what is happening? Oh, Fly Lilo, you got to sleep, dude. Thank you so much, Fly Lilo. Thank you for being here. Always good to see you, my friend. Sleep well. And uh, I'll, I'll be seeing you on one of your streams soon. Ken Zone Star, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much for the resub. 13 months. What? Ken Zone Star is another amazing uh, streamer, a variety streamer. Does a, 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 almost like a, does a lot of variety, but also does kind of a, a talk show uh, type where you can call in and talk about any topic. Really amazing guy. Great, uh, great individual. Go follow Kent Zone Star if you don't already. Fort Noob, what's happening? How are you doing? Good to see you. Oh, thank you, Chronico. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, Cupo. I mean, it, it, that may have been an ACDC reference. If it was. If it was, I apologize, but just try to keep it, try to keep it family friendly here, dude. Uh, all right, let's see. Lurk, all right, Sterlo, thank you for the lurk, my friend. Always good to see you. Fuel shut off valve is in, throttle a quarter inch. We're on an idle cutoff for the mixture. Master switches are going to be on. Hello. Is it me you're for? All right, let's go ahead and there we go. Took care of that. All right. Um, so if we have a bot raid, in, just in case, we could have a hate raid coming. I've never, never had. I've never had one of those. But if we do, I do have an emergency button I can push. Um, just so everyone is aware, if we do get a hate raid from that jerk, um, I'm going to hit the SOS button, which will put chat in um, sub and emote only mode. Yeah, that's right, Viper. It's always there, ready. So it's going to put chat in sub and uh, emote only mode. It'll also take a screenshot. So I've got proof of what happened for Twitch. Um, so don't don't freak out and leave or anything. J just know that I'm prepared. Okay. Um, I don't expect anything like that to happen, but you never know. All right, fuel pump. We turn it on, and then we wait for fuel flow on the fuel flow gauge. And then we go back to idle cutoff once we see fuel flow. Turn the Fuel pump off. Okay, and I've got a failure. Oh no, I've got a dead battery. How do I have a dead battery already? Oh lord, I don't know what to do if I got a dead battery with this uh very near Study level mod. Uh, Skipper Jeff, are you here? I guess I did pop you on my battery. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Call AAA. Charles Farmer, how you doing? Charge it? I don't even know how to charge it. Dude, I am... Uh, wow. That's a first. Blue Haired, how are you doing? Good to see you. Everyone's been jumping their start off me, right? Spider Steve. Um, on the ground, you should be able to pull one of the breakers to charge it as a cheat mode. If you, oh, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. Let me do this. I'm going to zoom in. I'm not sure which breaker it is. So we'll just cycle all the breakers just to be on the safe side. Oh, 
I mean, I love this mod. It's not out yet. The in Outbreaker. Oh, okay. Which one's the in Outbreaker? I don't see an in op one now, uh, Wombie. I just pressed the one that said in op. Between AP. Oh, I see now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, sorry, I'm. Yeah, geez. It does say it. Okay, here we go. He's back, everybody. Get ready. Tam the OG, are you here? We had to create a whole new username just to come in and troll me some more. Yeehaw. Have fun there, buddy. All right. Let's see here. Um. So now we're going to start it. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for that, Wombi and Viper. What is going on? It's it's back to five again? No, we're at 14, so why aren't we starting now? Yes, it is, for sure. I mean, I love that it has failures, but it's kind of embarrassing sometimes. But the engine's not even spinning over, though. The engine should be spinning over. This is interesting. Okay. Um, sorry for the delay, y'all. Um, this is the uh, 172X mod that's very near study level. So the uh, the checklist says to start out, says to start out on um, the fuel mixture all the way lean and then as it's cranking over to go full rich, just so you don't foul the spark plug. And that's typically what I do with no problem, but we're not even cranking now. Um, and we've got full battery voltage now as well. Yeah, alternator and battery are both on. On, on. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to exit out and I'll come right back in. Let me try that. Um... hand crank that would be nice <laughs> i hate it when it happens too man i mean we get, we got such a got a bunch of new people watching and uh two amazing raids and then we got a failure right at the start of stream which i mean it's cool and, and again that's what i like about this um this mod is that it makes failures happen but it's kind of uh kind of embarrassing right at the start of stream but it's okay get the old sweat going right can't start at full rich at 10,000 feet oh you can't start at full rich. the c10 you can't start at full rich wow unsubbed and unfollowed <laughs> all right here we go Well, I forgot I had the ignition on. I forgot I had the ignition on. Melvin Leroy, what is happening? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. All right, so state saving is enabled. Uh, Melvin Leroy is a fellow flight simmer. Um, great, great guy. Um, you do mostly X plane, is that right, Melvin? Give Melvin Leroy a shout out really quick, our good buddy Melvin. All right, let's see here. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. C 
Come on now. Yeah, you know what, Ori? That might be a good idea. If it'll let me control E, it may not with this mod. It's not. It's not letting me control E. Okay, our battery is slowly building back up, though. That's okay, Tam. We had a troll come in, but I, I, um, I banned him. All right, our battery is coming back up, so I'm just going to sit here patiently while our battery charges. I think once it gets up to, um, I think actually it should crank up now at nine and a half volts. It should, if I'm not mistaken, from what Jeff told me. Oh, come on. I know Super Typhon, I'm sorry about this uh, to everybody. This is, uh, totally weird. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to exit out and come back in. Actually. Yeah. Let me see. Let me try this. <laughs> we still got three. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we all learn together. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. I, I, um, I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're patient like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try to load in the hot plan and let's see what happens. I'm just curious if it's going to do this with my hot flight plan too, or if it's just loading in cold and dark that it's doing this. Yeah, Silver Spell, how are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, something weird's happening, Silver Spell, to the plane. I've got a, a a brand new mod. In fact, I updated it this afternoon. To the only change is supposed to be that the landing gear will break if you hit the ground hard enough. But it's it's doing something. There we go. It's doing something weird even 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 so um it's starting me out see even my volts light is on now we're at 5.6 volts let's, let's watch the voltage and see what happens here i'm probably gonna need pita I know, right? Sorry. Sorry for burning everyone's fuel up. Okay, I'm cycling the circuit breaker again. And my battery is going way down. Is that what it is? My engine RPMs aren't high enough to charge the battery? Possible. That's right. Skipper Jeff did tell me that. Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and get up in the air. And we'll just go from let let's see let's see what's gonna happen. I'll make a couple patterns around the airport just so that you guys can get up in the air with me. We'll start out hot and let's see what happens from here. I know did I check the alternator for the 203rd time? Do I see you on the other end? Liam, I see a bunch of people over there. Yeah, that's right, Ori. I forgot about that, that I do need a minimum of a 1,000. Uh, we're going to see. I'm going to get up in the air, and let's just see what happens. And I'll wait on you guys. I'll go ahead and get up in the air, and then we'll wait on you. Low lad, what is happening, my friend? How are you doing? 
Good to see you. Yeah, even though it's a 172, it still does have a thousand RPM minimum uh, for the alternator to charge. Uh, Skipper Jeff did tell me that. Oh, that was a beautiful uh, lift off right there at me. How you doing, Lilled? Good to see you again, my friend. How's things going for you? All right, so I'm going to make a quick a uh, couple of patterns around the airport. Oh, just ceramic. Oh, you got a new Maverick? I know blue hair. I would be. I would be dead if wake turbulence was a thing. Oh, man. Low lead. So the temperature, the temperature here was 80. I think it was 85 degrees earlier so i told my wife i was gonna go grill some pork chops and then while i was out there use my jeep and winch and pull up a couple bushes and i go out there and uh oh my gosh it was <laughs> damn <laughs> it was uh cooler but man it was so humid i was soaked by the time i was done Rugged, thank you for the first time, Chad. Good to see you. Or rugged. I guess that's rugged. Thank you for the first time, Chad. Good to see you. Welcome in. Oh, Liam, you're in the Savage. Nice. The Savage Gravel's a really nice plane. I probably should have been flying the uh, the Kit Fox. Just for the sake of being in the mountains and climbing really fast. But the Kit Fox doesn't have any sort of pedo heat or anything. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not either. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. There was an update to the 172X for it fixed an issue where the landing gear breaks too easily and some, yeah, Wombi. So I did up to, oh, really? So I updated it this morning to the previous version of the landing gear breaking. But I don't know what's up with my, my alternator's not charging still. Yeah, I'm still at five volts. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, there's not a voltmeter. There's an amp gauge though. So just the amp gauge and it's, it's, uh, it's definitely not charging. And I'm still, uh, battery still just at five volts. You had to take a break and cool off your dripping sweat. Yeah, I know, right? Low lead, it's rough, man. The humidity is really bad right now where we live. Is there a way to see fault codes? Not that I'm aware of. I, <clears throat> excuse me. Not that I'm, <clears throat> dang it. Not that I'm aware of. <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> yes <clears throat> that's why so there is a voltage gauge there but this this led is is shut down because the voltage is too low so i can't tell what my voltage is except for going to the battery and looking yep so i wonder if i just cycle all the circuit breakers again it doesn't look like any are popped though Looks like all the circuit breakers are intact. Yahila, Laura, how are you doing? Welcome in. We're uh, we're experiencing some te some experiencing. Whoa, there. We're experiencing some technical difficulties with the plane tonight. Good to see you. Cycle the alternator switch. Yeah, let me try that. Good to see you, Laura. How are you doing? Okay, so I've got it back on, but because the battery state is so low, now none of my avionics are working, which is not a big deal since I've got little nav map over here, but it's, I don't know what's up with that. I, did I hit the battery? No, I didn't hit the battery switch. I hit the alternator switch. I checked to make sure I hit the left button. Yeah, I hit the left button. 
So what it is, there's just not enough battery power to run any of the electronics. Yeah, Oz, I think that probably is what it is. It's too low to accept charge. Um, so maybe at the next airport, we'll give it another go. Yeah, I must have blown the alternator. I wonder how I replace it, though. I'm going to um, try to message Skipper Jeff in Discord and see if he can jump in uh, if he's not busy and give me a hand. Holy crap. What the heck? Wow, thank y'all, everybody, for flying along. Dang. You're doing good. Just been to the doctors. Found out that all your tiredness is due to post-viral fatigue. Oh, wow, long COVID. Yeah, I've known several people that have that, Laura. Sorry to hear that. You have a spare battery in the back. We can swap it out. All right, give me. right, I'm going to take my eyes off the chat. Oh, we're in uh, US East, US East server. I'm going to message um, Skipper Jeff and see if he can jump in really quick. Do you see me? Your screen is cutting, going on and off. Um, is your username Liam in in the sim too, Liam? I'll check in just a second. I just messaged him. We'll see if he's got time to jump in. If he doesn't, I totally understand. <clears throat> uh, Liam, let's see if we see a Liam. Does anyone see Liam? Liam, I am not seeing you. No, no Liam. Thanks. You just had to do a blood test. So hopefully it'll bring up more answers. Easy. You just want to be yourself again, Laura. I, I understand. I've known uh, several people that have had long COVID and it's really weird how, uh, no pun intended, how long it takes to get over it. Okay, Liam, switching servers. No problem. So if you would like to fly along with me, if you're new to the channel, uh, I just want to tell everybody everyone's welcome to fly along well you're fly what you want to fly how you want to no rules just flight is my slogan here so fly what you want to fly how you want to us east is the server and this is the closest airport jump on in and fly with us we are going to be flying in the himalayans uh i need to check Minimum safe, wow. Minimum safe altitude is 13,000 feet for tonight's flight. Minimum safe is 13 freaking thousand feet. I've got to do some climbing, y'all. Your appetite's still whack, and even though you're sleeping loads, you're tired, never ending. I hope so too, Laura. When is your birthday? And 13,000 is pushing the limits of this plane also, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, I think we'll be okay. It's just going to be a challenge tonight. Viper Strike, how are you doing? Good to see you. Viper Strike is another awesome flight sim streamer, great friend of the community. Um, does a ton of research of the places wherever he's flying. Great guy. Go give Viper Strike a follow if you don't already follow him. You'll be crashing a lot tonight, dude. I'm going to be crashing. I got a feeling I'm going to be crashing near the end. 
this last airport, our final airport of the evening, is one of the hardest airports to land at in the world. I've never been there before, never landed there, never taken off from there, so I'm super excited. We're going to land here tonight, and then tomorrow night we'll uh, leave from this airport tomorrow evening. So it's kind of a short flight plan just so we'll have time to play around once we get to Lukla. You got to go as you're running out of data on the move. Oh, no problem. Uh, 13th of September. Laura, I'll be praying for you as well, my friend. Take care of yourself. And let me know how you are. You can message me on Discord. You already know your checks after three hours with this plane, but landing is crazy. Your prop gets trashed easily. Oh, does it really? So what's cool about this, about this add-on that I have, not only does it make the inside of the plane study level, but now if you don't land just right, the landing gear will also break and it will bend your prop as well. Best get climbing? Yes. Thank you for that. I am climbing. I am climbing. I'm going to be higher than I normally fly, y'all, just because we're going to be up in the mountains today. That warning saying is for airliners. Luke is not a challenge unless you're in IMC. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, they got the prop bending in it now too, Oz. Yep. They added that um, over the weekend, and I'm, I'm told by Wambi that they just added a new repair because the landing gear is failing too easily. So I hope mine doesn't fail too easily. Been prop for you as well. And if you go to if you go into war power, your engine will spill oil on the windshield. Oh wow, really, Death Crow? That's cool. So if you'd like to fly along, feel free to fly along. Just beware. So my understanding is that we're pretty much stuck in the state that we're in until we can get on the ground and either um, cycle out of um, cycle out of this plane and then back into it or get to a uh, charging station and charge it. So we'll see. Hopefully Skipper Jeff will jump in. Lima, you got to sleep. Have fun seeing. Oh, wow. No problem, Lima. 2.43 a.m. Go get some sleep. Go get some sleep. I don't blame you. I would be I would be already asleep a long time ago by now, so no problem. Yeah, 13K is pushing it for sure, Ori. I don't know that I've ever made it to 14. Um I want to say 12,000s as far as I pushed mine before, but we'll see. Closed captioning took the word well from a southern accent and said whale. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. Closed captioning does some really funny things. Oh, Paradox, you're going to jump in for a bit? No problem, dude. Yeah, it's going to be tough for sure, Viper. But I'm hoping, usually little nav maps, top of um, minimum safe is a little bit high because we can always fly. So my flight plan takes us, yes. That's what I was, exactly what I was about to say, Wombi. My flight plan takes us into some valleys where we can stay low until we come up to Lukla, where we've got to be at whatever altitude Lukla is, which isn't really that high, honestly. It's just nestled in the middle of some really, really high mountains. So that's where the flight plan is taking us. Oh, yeah, Captain Stick, thank you. Hey, what's up? Hardy Turn, how are you doing? With a Matty Ferks there. How's it going, dude? So, uh, Arctic Turn, if y'all don't know Arctic Turn, Arctic Turn is another amazing flight simmer. Uh, Arctic Turn streams are always for charity. He is an amazing individual. Uh, I just, 
I really love Arctic Turn streams just because I know that it's giving back to the world in which we live. And he's really doing some amazing things over there. Um, so we've got an inside joke where he is the anti-scruff. He's Matty Ferks, a barefooted person whose slogan is no flight, just rules. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, for shouting out Arctic. Yeah, I'm going to jump out of the plane really quick. Let's enjoy some views. Because that's what we're, the reason I chose this flight plan is so we can enjoy the uh, beauty of the Himalayas without getting all the way into the Himalayan mountains. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Nice, beautiful weather too today, y'all. Live time and live weather. You couldn't ask for better flying weather, right? So flying along, we got Ezra Howden, Ori Darkwind, Detective 42, Boss Man, Bennett, Oz Nomad, Verse, Dusty, Momberry. We've got uh, Chronico, Cooper, Rock, Spider, Infinite Fireman. And I think, I know Paradox is jumping in. I think that covers everybody. I know there's Lazy Hippo. And, oh, that's Boss Man, okay. Yeah, nice, nice crowd of people flying along. <laughs> right, Sam? Uh, you're not going to lay on the ski version on Mount Everest? No, no, Viper. No, I'm not. <laughs> nice. Blue haired is here also. You know, I figured this flight plane at 85, no, yeah, I think at 85 knots, maybe even 95 knots, and I'm going 80 right now, so this may, this may take longer than what I had anticipated. That is a big F-35. That's an F-35 in disguise. Kev, what is happening, dude? How you doing, Kev? Good to see you, my friend. Oh, no problem. Hey, uh, Arctic Turn, no problem, man. I totally understand. What you grilling? What you got on the grill? I grilled some pork chops Service? earlier today. Yes. We have a very light. Oh, Chris good nine. gosh. A 15 knot no, headwind. Lots of times. Uh, Kev Sim Corner, thank you so much for the resub. Eight months. What? Kev Sim Corner is an American truck sim streamer over on, um, well, he streams on Facebook, on um, Twitch multi-streams great great guy though one of the best american truck sim streamers i have seen one of the not the well sheesh sticking my foot in my mouth you thought kev streamed kev does stream some thighs with thai peanut sauce oh that sounds good you got one knot at the airport no i've got 14 i've got 14 knot headwind I know, right? Crowbar, stuck my foot in my... One of many, yes, Kev. That's what I meant to say. I didn't mean that, like, you're not one of the best. You are one of the best. Um, Paradox is in here also. Paradox is another amazing American truck sim streamer. Paradox was the last guest on my podcast. Sometimes I need to talk less, think more. Thank you, Tam, for shouting out Kev. But yeah, Kev Sim Corner's a great guy. <laughs> right, Viper, it, is, it really is. It really is. Yeah, Paradox, uh, you really should go follow Kev. Um, Kev's a great guy. Kev is, like yourself, very, very engaging to his community. Uh, he spends a lot of time um, in, in, um, communicating with this community, engaging. It wouldn't be any fun if we had to think more and talk less. It, yeah, crowbar, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. 
It's a big F-35 because it only gets 20-ish AOA. <laughs> Right, Connor Cove. For some reason, though, when I get on stream, because I want to be so engaging, sometimes I just absentmindedly say things without thinking. All right, I'm gonna level out right now. I think I'm. I think I'm okay to probably level out for a little while. We are gonna be flying mostly in the valleys today. Where am I currently at? Crowbar, we are on our way to Kathmandu. In fact, we're almost at top of descent and it's gonna be time to start um, the top of ascent, top of climb. And it's gonna be time to start descending soon. Yeah, Chronico for sure. Did I remove the F-35? Yeah, that's really weird, Cappy Stick. I um, I noticed that too. I may, you know, I don't know if you if you heard, I accidentally deleted my entire community folder a while back, and thought I had reinstalled everything. But yeah, F thirty five may be one that I forgot to reinstall. Oh, you're you're right behind me now, Liam. Liam, what's your username? I'm still not seeing you unless you're in a different, you know, unless you have a different username. I'm not seeing you back there. Yeah, not, not the, not the folder itself. <laughs> if it'll fire man, right? <laughs> I have actually, I have actually welcomed myself to my own stream. If you didn't see that on TikTok, it's out there. Um, Lemon sucker, okay. I saw that and thought that um thought thought you were a uh, a troll for a minute there. No, I'm not seeing Lemon Sucker. Is anyone else seeing a username Lemon Sucker out there? No, Death Crow, you lost it. Yeah, see, Ori, that's what I was doing. You are at a Civil War era fort helping with a cannon shoot. It slipped and fell. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, uh, Ori, I was using add-on linker. And it, I had added the kit box. No, yeah, I added the kit box and something else to it that odd add-on linker didn't like. And I accidentally was screwing around and deleted and deleted the contents of my community folder. And that's how that happened was through the add-on linker. And I haven't done add, I haven't fooled with add-on linker since. I need to though, because now I know better than putting, you know, those that have their own, um, programs or whatever you want to call it, installation things in there. You were in the South, so you wouldn't have surprised me if she was completely scandalized. Uh, you know, Sim Caesar and his mods, nice. Sim Caesar's a great guy. Oh no, there's a sweet old lady heard you. She's probably heard worse though. Yeah, Sim Caesar's a great guy. I know Sim Caesar as well. He's a, he's an awesome streamer. But she understood. That's good that she understood. You print out the whole manual from the file, so you'll have to read it because it's pretty extensive. Okay, Liam. Gonna eat dinner. Okay, Tam, thank you so much, babe. Thank you for jumping in, for helping out, for shouting out some people for me. Have a good dinner. Have a good dinner. Since you were sort of representing the state of North Carolina at the time, I'm sure she's heard worse though, Viper. I mean, I know I try my best not to, you know, let things slip either. But most people understand stuff like that is going to happen. Those old Civil War style shoes aren't nearly as grippy as the regular shoes. Yeah, they don't have uh, they don't have quite the tread on them that the new ones have, right? Uh, Lemon Sucker, I'm still not seeing you out here.
Oh, wow, Viper. So both sets of my grandparents were like, I'm sure that they, well, in fact, I know that they heard stuff like that. I should try DCS. I've got DCS blue haired and I've never, well, I take that back. I have opened it up and that's all I've done with it. I just, I just opened it up and updated it and that's it. That's all I've done. Um, and it's really just because I love Microsoft Light Sim so much. And I feel like I have not, I feel like I've not reached the level of knowledge in Microsoft Light Sim to where I'm ready to try another Flight Sim, if that makes sense. So that's why I really haven't, I haven't done anything with DCS. So this airport is very close to sea level. It's 679 feet above sea level. Uh, this next airport I am going to do, you know what? I'm probably going to do a full stop landing here. Just take a quick pee break, which I'll, I'll plan on doing this at all the airports today. Do full stop landings. And I'll cycle the plane and let's see if we can fix our battery issue really quick. Yeah, thank you, blue haired. I appreciate that. And y'all, if you watched the Wings Over the Web Air Show a couple months ago on Microsoft Light Sim Officials channel, there's another air show coming up, another virtual air show on the Microsoft Light Sim channel in November. Um, can't remember the exact date. I'm not at liberty to say that anyways, but I will also be the narrator for that. At least the Flight Sim Thunderbirds portion of it. And I'll also be doing some camera work as well. Whoa, shoot. Oh, crap. That wasn't good. Bacon, thank you so much. Bacon, thank you so much for the for the resub, dude. I'm sorry. My uh, my uh, Xbox controller fell about the time you came in. Super Typhon for about three hours total, maybe a little bit longer. Bacon, thank you so much. Dude, I'm glad, I'm glad I met you as well. Two months in a row. Welcome in. Thank you again for the support, Bacon. I appreciate that. Oh, okay, Wombi, that might be what it is. So if this, if this airport has a fueling station, I'll pull up and, and we'll let it charge as I go to the restroom and then we'll see what happens instead of, um, instead of cycling the plane, you know, uh, cycling the sim out and back in, we'll try just, I'll try that, try charging it up because I'm curious as to what's happening as well. You have DCS for flying around the Huey. You never tried anything else in it. Um, I would love to fly along with a shadow display team sometimes. And so that's really why I got DCS was just so I could fly along and play along with the shadow display team on Friday evenings. But like I said, I really just haven't taken the time and don't really want to learn anything else right now until I reach what I consider a, a, a reasonable level of knowledge in Microsoft Light Sim. One K to go. Oh, thank you. Uh, Info Fireman with a test question. Which statement relates to Bernoulli's principle? Uh, it is C. Yep, C. Charlie. Air traveling faster over the curved upper surface of an airfoil causes lower pressure on the top surface, and that is what causes planes to fly. Yeah, Viper. That's a that's an excellent idea to put a battery tender in the hangar. And that is the correct. The answer is C. Charlie. Yes, it makes the Venturi effect work. It's the same way carburetors basically work. A wing is nothing but one half of a of a carburetor, basically. Yeah, so Chronico, and that's why I fly 
the majority of the time I'm in the 172. But every now and then I'll fly the Kit Fox because I enjoy it and it's a very maneuverable plane. It, it's it's more of a almost like an aerobatic plane for me. Airliners will be a long, long ways away. But there's so much to learn in Microsoft Flight Sim. And I thought I would learn it a lot quicker than I have, but it's okay. Okay, so the airport should be just on the other, right over the other side of this river here. Right to the, uh, to the right hand side of this mountain right here. It should be right in that area. Oh, dude, yes, that was awesome, Viper. I love the, the way they got the different angles of the carburetor with the slow-mo camera. Really freaking cool. Seeing the fuel wiggle up like a worm and then get pushed in. That was really, really amazing. Yeah, Chronico, I never got into it for the airliners. I got into it totally for the GA. I am going to land at this airport. Yes, it is super close to the mountains. And I'm going to fly into... Oh, you know what? We got a direct crosswind. I think the safest the safest runway is to fly into 3-3. Three, three. But I'm going to try to fly into 1-5 because the winds are slightly blowing down runway 33 three. so i'm going to try to land into runway 15 chat is like a student on social media while you're instructing the class it limits your learning yeah it really does it does cap you stick I should totally spend more time off stream learning. And actually, if any of y'all follow Ford or learn to fly a couple streams ago, Ford was talking about, and he may talk about this all the time on his channel, but he's got a Udemy, U D E M Y channel. Um, that is a, like a flight sim Academy that you can buy. And he was offering it half price. So I went ahead and, and did that. And basically, it uses flight sim to teach you the principles of flying. And I just have not taken the time. I've done a couple of the lessons, but I haven't, haven't done any of the lessons that involve watching it and flying along in flight sim. So I really need to take the time to do that. So it's got to be fully charged before start. Thank you for that. Who to me? You to me. <laughs> yeah. You're at 12,900 right now. You're going to keep going. Okay, no problem. No problem, Ori. I understand. You're at, you're at 120,000. Dang, Leah. No wonder I can't see you. Yeah, normally this would just be a touch and go, but I do want to go ahead and charge up the battery in the plane just for curiosity's sake. And that'll give me time to go do a pee break, refill my water and stuff like that as well. So it's okay. Y'all stick around. If you want to keep on flying, do it. If you want to land at the airport, do it. Fly what you want to. Fly how you want to. You know how I roll here. It's cool. Do what you want to. I'm cool with it. KW, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome back. I am fantastic. Happy Sunday to you. Or at least it's Sunday for me. I know it's um, Monday for some others. For our Australian friends. I know it's Monday. So speaking of ancients, the chapter in the pilot's handbook of aircraft aeronautical knowledge it's really good. You're going to heavily crib off it this week to teach about engines. Oh, nice. Viper, that'll be awesome. Oh, 
Oh, Hamo, it's Monday for you? Oh, man. It's still Sunday evening for me, but Monday's on its way. But at least we don't have students yet. So, uh, not that I, d I really don't mind students, so it actually makes time go by quicker when I'm actually teaching instead of just sitting in my office. But it will be Monday soon enough for me. Three more hours. Your neighbor starts back to school on the 15th. Okay. You seen some streams this week of people who should know better not leaning their engines properly? Fire Sandy, welcome in. How are you doing, Fire Sandy? Good to see you. I am a teacher, Bacon. Yep. Runway 15's nice. Good deal. Thank you for that. Runway 15, excuse me. Runway 15. We got a teacher shortage in Australia. Have been thinking about going and doing a teaching degree. Yeah, pay um, now in you're in Australia. Here in the United States, most teacher pay is crap. I know it is. It is where I live in South Carolina. But one thing I can say is that the benefits are pretty nice. I mean, I really can't complain because if I'm able to retire from where I work now, I'll be much better off than I would have been at my retiring from my previous employer. Let's just put it that way. Okay, Infidel Fireman, no problem. I understand. Thank you. Thank you. Really nice having you fly along with me, Infidel Fireman. Thank you. Oh, wow. Dang, Viper. Yeah, so I took about a $15,000 pay cut a year to take my cheat my teaching job however when you look at the long term with benefits and everything i'm actually coming out better in the long run doing what i'm doing now so it, it's it's okay you see what's what's unfortunate for me is in the state where i work to retire with full benefits you have to, your age plus your time worked with the state has to equal 90. So I started working there when I was 48, no, 49. So I've got a long ways to go. <laughs> what do I teach? I teach automotive technology. So I teach students how to repair, how to diagnose and repair vehicles. My background when I graduated high school, I went to the college that I teach at. I graduated there with an automotive degree. And I worked for 28 years at Chevrolet Cadillac Mazda dealerships. 14 of those as a technician and then 14 of those as a service manager. So I know a lot about General Motors vehicles and older, like, 80s and 90s Mazdas. Oh, heck yeah, Oz. I would love to. That way you got a mechanic on board with you, too. That would be awesome. Or absent parents. Um, Yes. Yes, Viper. That, that's definitely yeah bacon uh it was i really really enjoyed being the service manager and and that job is what really opened me up to being comfortable talking to anybody about anything and i don't think that i would be the streamer or even the instructor that i am today had it not been for my experience as service manager dealing with different personalities and People that were really upset about their vehicle and then people that, you know, were really happy about their vehicles and stuff like that. I did not, Liam. I have not seen the Black Sheep Squadron yet. It's on my list of war movies to watch, but I haven't seen it yet. Mm, not all the time, Viper. Not all the time. Most of the time, yes. But not all the time.
Oh yeah, so they put a lot of plastic shrouds on the engine. One, just to make it look pretty. And number two, it actually directs air to help cool the engine. I'll help keep the engine, you know, at the temperature they want it to be at. I'm coming in really fast for a full flaps. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't feel right at all. For full flaps, that was super fast. Yeah, that was rough. That was a rough landing. Exactly mechanical madness. They could uh they could spend a lot of they could save a lot of money, I think, with some of the plastic crap that they put on there that doesn't necessarily need. Yeah, Texan, that was super fast, man. And it's not like we're really high up in altitude where, you know, the air would be a lot thinner or anything. So I'm gonna pull up to the fuel pumps. And let my battery charge while I take a quick pee break and then refill my water as well. I let oh Wombi, that makes sense. That's what the problem was. They're not actually down. That's exactly yeah. I've got electric flaps. I wasn't thinking. That's why it was so fast. I was wondering why I didn't hear the change in uh, in air turbulence when I engaged flaps either. Thank you for that. Right, Spider. Yeah, it really is a rough business. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's changing now with the shortage of technician that's happening. Because there's no way I could have retired as a technician with a decent living without having to own my own shop or do work on the side for the rest of my life. So I'm really hoping that that's going to change for, uh, for mechanics. How close do I need to be for the charging to happen? Just where the, um, where it pulls up the fuel for me? Well, <laughs> there we go. Okay. I know I'm really close. The wing is probably all over it. Okay, so that's just, should I? Oh, the charger only needs to be on the ground. I didn't realize that. Oh, looks like a Shoney gaming plane getting painted. Nice. I don't have to drag the hoses as far, right? My wings just clipping everything. So I just sit here now. Do I need to have anything turned? Do I need to turn everything off, Wombi? Breaker popped out equals charging. Okay. Okay, so I've got it popped out now. All right, I'm gonna go uh, take a quick pee break. <laughs> Dragging those hoes. That's all right, Bacon. I'll let you slide on that one. Catman Do's not your favorite Seeger tune. I know, Planet Neutral. I couldn't resist though. I couldn't resist. Paradox, what's the what's your uh, what's the best feature of the Cody? We're still only at five per five though. What what is happening here? Cup holder for coffee. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, actually I've got I've got everything turned off though. I guess that's what I should have done is turn off um reverse prop for sure, right? I guess I should have um I've got the, the ignition off and everything turned off. All right, I'll be right back and then we'll check it out. See you in a minute.
I'm going to get loaded in and make sure it's charging. Then I'll go take a few break. <laughs> Just looks like you saw Tony playing. All right, so Circuit Breaker is popped out. Is that right, Wombi? Do I need to have it popped out now? And I should have everything turned off, right? The master, the, I mean, the alternator, the battery, and everything off, switch off. I don't know, I understand why it's not counting up. Airplane fast charging. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me go refill my water real quick. All right, I'm back. Battery on and pull the breaker. Okay. All right, battery switches on, breaker is out. Let's give it a minute and see what happens. All right, I just saw a little something happen there. I saw the gauges cycle. Emperor Kool-Aid, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. Mario Death was for the 172. I understand. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. We got some noises happening now. Let it charge a little bit more. I still don't understand why it loaded in at five volts initially. I mean, that that's okay that it did. And at least now I know what to do. Uh, even if, even if this is a, a long time bug, at least I can, you know, before stream, when I, when I'm doing my pre-stream stuff, I can go ahead and turn the plane on and let it be charging either way. So I'm good with that. Philip Bowen. What's up, my dude. How are you doing? Philip Bowen music is an amazing musician. 
uh, plays the fiddle on Twitch, multi streams on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube. Uh, dude, he does a lot of amazing stuff. Oh, okay, Wobby. Thank you for that. Are my lights on? Is it still showing? You know what? It is still showing it. Oh, my lights are on. Thank you for that. My lights were on. Appreciate that, uh, Cappy Stick. So now we'll let it charge up a little bit more before we uh, before I crank it back up. Thank you. You're welcome, Philip. So, um, yeah, seriously, though, go follow Philip Bowen. Uh, really, really an amazing guy. I can't believe he will take any song and play it to fiddle. He does requests. Really an awesome guy. Come on, shout out button. Work for me here. All right, so we, we should be charged up enough now to fire it up. Let's go ahead and try it out and see. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we'll put it at 1200 RPM. Thank you for your help there, Wombi, and everybody else for playing a part in that. There we go. There's a shout out from a good buddy, Philip Bowen. All right. If y'all are ready to get up in the air, and I know you are, <laughs> I know I am. Let's do it. Yeah, success for sure. Oh no, someone crashed your game, Spider Steve. What? All right. Let's see here. Uh, we have zero wind, which is good. So I'm just going to, I'm going to pull forward. And let's get up in the air. Looks like my flaps were up, so I uh, I put my flaps back down. I mean, I put my flaps were down, so I put them back up. I said that just backwards, didn't I? We have our choice of runway because there is no wind. Oh yeah, Chronico. As soon as we get up in the air, it'll be right back at it. I'm gonna take off to the right, and I'm just gonna. I know we're only halfway down, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Uh, we have lost a lot of time playing around with that. So I want to be able to have some time at the final airport playing around. So I'm going to go ahead and get up in the air. There we go. This is more like it. Oh, you never landed because you know how slowly. Yeah, the good news is Oz that my flight plan should have us in a lot of valleys. Although, <laughs> although we're fixing to have to climb these mountains right here. After the next airport, excuse me. So after the next airport, we'll be flying a lot of valleys. But yes, my friends, it's time to climb. So I'm trying to get to that, that perfect, uh, rate of climb at, uh, 74 knots. Got to get my plane pitched for that. Yeah. Chronico. That's right. Yep. 74 knots. That's what I'm trying to, trying to find that perfect little, uh, trying to find that happy spot with the trimming. Yeah, Cappy Steak, for sure. Thank you for that reminder. I appreciate that. Oh, you tap the bay at the brakes and bench your prop. What? Leaving altitude. I like that in this version, we have Betty uh, talking to us, too. I kind of like that. I 
I think we'll make it. We'll know shortly. If if I need to, I'll do a circling climb before I get to the um, upslope of the mountain. Holy crap. I'm just in awe at the number of people flying along tonight. Thank y'all for flying along. Group flights and a busy chat just really, really make me so freaking happy. And this is amazing. I was afraid that once we started having problems with the plane that I was going to lose a bunch of people flying along and a bunch of people in chat. But y'all stuck with me. Thank you. Speedy, what's happening? How are you doing? Welcome back in, Speedy. Good to see you. And uh, Wired247, thank you so much for that follow. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. Wired, if you are a flight simmer and you'd like to fly along with us, feel free to fly along. We've got a bunch of people flying. Fly what you want to, fly how you want to. This is the closest airport in the upper right-hand corner. And I am on US East server. See, we got Muet flying the Pelican. Speedy, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. I do have some friends. I've got, I've got a few friends. It makes me so happy. It really does. I, I'm like a little kid when I, when I stream. Thank you, Wambi. I appreciate it. I mean, it's all about learning, right, Wambi? And I appreciate that the majority of people that were here wanted to learn along with me and help help when you could and i really really appreciate that one and, and everybody else who who helped out and you know gave advice and stuff and mostly for sticking around during that time it's nice to learn stuff oh nice speedy thank you so much for that so speedy is a disabled gamer i uh, just started streaming actually Y'all support, please, please, please support the disabled gaming community by going to give Speedy a follow and also Fly Lilo if you don't follow Fly Lilo. Uh, they're both disabled gamers and really trying to, trying to bring forward the, some of the challenges, but also some of the technology that allows disabled gamers to fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator in many other games as well. It's really amazing. Zug, what's happening? Zug Zug. How are you? Zug Zug Zugluck. How are you doing? Thanks for the introduction. Super amateur flight sim player here and you're glad you found my channel. How did you get a plane like that with your Twitch name on it? So uh Gasper, how are you doing man? Good to have you here. So there are people in the flight sim community who who will create custom liveries some people, I'm not one of them, are knowledgeable enough to do their own. But I'm blessed to have people in my community who create liveries for my planes. Uh, it, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's very difficult to do. But the people that do it say it's really not that bad. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is definitely a thing. A lot of people have custom liveries or liveries. I don't know the proper pronunciation. I say liveries. If I'm wrong, sorry. It's not the first thing I've pronounced wrong in my channel for sure. It is going to be close, Gasper. It's going to be really close. I am, uh, I'm working on getting it trimmed up to clear, but I may have to circle a couple times to, to clear it. So welcome in to anyone that's new. My, ch my channel is all about learning together group flights flying together so everyone feel free to jump in and fly along if you'd like to closest airports right here and we're on us east server zug zug thank you for the follow oz i what, what am i right about man i'm sorry i said so many things i have no idea short i is correct okay so livery Okay, thank you for that. You're going to aim a little more to the east to try the lower ones? Yeah, Gasper, no no doubt, man. Uh, do it. Yeah, so I've heard that Blender is a good way to do it. But I just don't know about it. I just don't know enough about it. Right, Viper? Exactly. Thank you for the 100 bits, Hamo. I appreciate that. Yeah, Viper, I am going to circle climb. Okay, Oz, thank you. 
So I'm saying it right, livery. Appreciate that. You know, Death Crow, from what I from what I have learned, and I haven't done much research, but from what I've learned, a lot of the people in World War II, they weren't trained on how to do everything. They just needed pilots so badly that they give them a really, really quick crash course on how to fly. And then they were on their own. They just flew literally by the seat of their pants. Boss man, you got to turn in. Hey, dude, I totally understand. Okay, well, but yeah, thank you, man. But really, I, I appreciate your help, and it's really not that big a deal. I was just kind of, you know, just kind of panicking a little bit. Joey Bolo is flying along. Thank you for flying, Joey. Oh, you had to change back to the Savage? Okay, uh, so I'm going to do, I'm doing what's called a, a circling climb. So as you can see, I'm circling, but I'm also climbing at the same time instead of trying to hit the mountain straight on because I would literally hit the mountain straight on if I tried that. Joey Bolo, how you doing, my friends? Joey Bolo is another amazing flight sim streamer. New dad. Seen Joey in a few channels today. How you doing, Joey? Panda with a gun? Welcome back. Good to see you again. Uh, Speedy, I did have some problems with the plane, but that is to be expected in a in a in a study level plane or a near study level plane. I am totally expecting to have some technical difficulties, but I had one that I was not. It kind of blindsided me. I was not expecting the the difficulty that I had, but we worked through it as a community together with the help of Wambi and several other knowledgeable people. We figured out what the issue was and got it resolved. Oh, you can do a ditch water landing and not crash it? Oh, that's cool. Oh, you got your little girl sitting at first officer, fresh from a nap, nice. That's really cool, Joey. My grandkids, when they're here, they come back here and they want to get, they want to, they want to play around with the yoke and stuff. I'm just not, you know, if I had one of them here and not both, I would be more comfortable showing them how to do it. But when it's both of them, you know, one's trying to fly, then the other one's like, let me do it. Let me do it. So they really don't have an opportunity to try it and Hello. learn properly. Liam, thank Is you for the alert. Cat, cat, welcome back in. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Good to see you, Cat. Welcome back. Ah, uh, BLZ. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, BLZ. You know what you got to do. But yeah, dude, we're flying the Himalayan mountains today. Look at all the people flying along too, BLZ. This is what I love about Microsoft Light Sim. One of the many, many things. You've heard me say this before. Look at all the folks flying along, and the every one of these is from the community here. Uh, they're all ahead of me. Oh, nice! You won Sky Park and a plane on stream on Saturday night. Dude, Sky Park. Speedy, I am so proud of you. You will love Sky Park. That's amazing. You will love it. Sky Park so much easier. What plane did you win? So BLZ on Twitch is a streamer over on the uh, streaming platform Trovo. Uh, BLZ does a lot of amazing things. BLZ is a variety streamer, but also a DJ over there on Trovo. So if you would like, BLZ, go ahead and post your link and y'all go follow BLZ if you'd like to. Great guy, longtime member. Oh, Viper, it's really humid here too. It's super humid here. And then when the sun goes down, it gets even worse. Muet in the Pelican. Milvis PC6, very nice. Dwarfly, welcome in. How are you doing? Good to see you, Dorafly. Dorafly is another 
another flight sim streamer. Let me give Dora Fly a shout out really quick. My, <laughs> my stream deck's like, Scruffy, what are you doing? There's so many people in here. It's taking me forever to read them all. There we go. So I've got this really cool button on my stream deck that anyone that's, that has said anything in chat, when I hit the shout out button, it pulls up everyone's icons and names. So all I have to do is push, touch one of those names to shout them out. It makes it really nice. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Dora. Oh yeah, Texan. Texan is also sheesh. Texan, I am so sorry I hadn't already shouted you out. Texan is another awesome flight sim streamer. So that's one of the reasons why I really don't need mods. I can pretty much self mod for the most part. And so you get some jerk and it like came in here at the beginning of stream, but still I took care of them by myself and was cool. I can't believe the skies are so clear in, in live time and live weather. It's just a beautiful day. The worries underwear. Oh wow, really? Yeah, Super Typhon, I do have some other mods. Oh, not really. I, I was wondering, like, what? <laughs> Can you even call them out? <laughs> Dude. Um. You like landings and Catman? Dude, nice, Dora. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of really good alternatives to um, to a stream deck. I didn't realize that when I first bought my stream deck, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, whatever works, works, right? So yeah, Tam, the, I've got some, oh no, really Cappy Stick? I've got some mods, but for the most part, they were mods when I was a variety streamer and they, they don't really dig flight sim, right? They're not big on Microsoft flight sim, so I don't see them very often. Uh, and so, yeah, Tam is really the only active uh, mod that I have. Kylock Fuller, how are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you so much for the follow, Kylock. I appreciate that. How are you doing? Uh, Cappy Stick, hopefully I won't be in a mean haze, but I'll deal with it if I am. All right, time to trim down a little bit now. At this next airport, I will just do a touch and go. And then once we fly about eight, to about, about 20 miles east of this next airport, we'll be flying in valleys all the way to Lukla. Awesome. Well, Kylock, if I'm saying that correctly, if I'm saying it wrong, please let me know. I don't know if it's Kylock or Kyloch. If I'm saying it wrong, please correct me. But welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate the follow. And if you would like to uh, jump in and fly along with us. Oh, Speedy, you're a mod? That's good to know. Iceman, try Sim Dashboard. Iceman, is that what you use? So the reason I don't have many mods and I, I really am hesitant to ask anybody to mod for me is I don't want anybody to feel like they have to be here every time I go live. And I kind of feel like I kind of feel like that's the way people would feel if I, you know, if I ask him to be a mod. So right now though, Speedy, everything is really good. The flight sim community is an amazing community. I haven't had any issues. So I'm, I'm really good with the few mods that I have. Use it for ATS and Microsoft flight sim. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wombie. The, the stream deck is amazing. Yeah. Speedy. Thank you so much for offering. I really do appreciate that, but I don't want to, Right now, I'm not going to burden you with that, although there's really not a lot to do. But I appreciate you asking, though. Yeah, Wombi is definitely a legend. Yeah, so stream decks are more than just for streaming. Although it's called a stream deck. 
I know a lot of people that have them at their full-time job and they use them for shortcuts, not even for streaming. Sim dashboard, nice. Use the mute button for teams, yeah. Oh, shoot. So if you're new and you didn't know, I do have a podcast. Um, I had two episodes that have been out there for about a year now, and I did, I kind of revamped it. And I did my third podcast a couple weeks ago. DH Paradox was my guest. I really enjoyed getting to know Paradox, learning some stuff about American Truck Sim. And then my next guest, um, I've got a list. Iceman, thank you for that lurk. I've got, oh, thank you, Speedy. I appreciate that. I've got a list on my Discord. Um, it's un under the podcast channel. If you're interested in being a guest, just post there, and I'm working my way down the list. The next on the list is Sergeant, is Sergeant Staff. Reached out to him this morning, and we just got to come up with a day next week that I can interview him, and then I'll have podcast four that I'll be working on. Use your shuttle jogger for X-Plane Final Cut. Oh, nice. Back into the cockpit I go. Let's see what the outside temperature is. Why is this not? Oh, is, is this trip now? I was going to see what the outside air temp is, but I may have another circuit breaker trip, but I'm not going to screw with it right now. 73 nautical miles out of final. All right, Ori. Oh, yeah, Beelzy. Yeah, you I'm sure you listen to the first two, though, right? Beelzy, I'm pretty sure you have. Disco Stu, welcome back in. Your outside is seven degrees Celsius. Seems a little high for this altitude. Yeah, Oz, that's what I was wondering if I need to turn pedo heat on. I probably should for this altitude. Plus, we're going to be. I mean, I, I think, yeah, I'm going to turn it on just to. Come on. You can do it. Well, now my pedo heat's not going to work. My pedo switch ain't working. Oh, well. It's okay. The FAA, what's happening? How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome back. Really nice to see you, man. I love your username. It's just, it's such a fun name. Thank you for coming back in. Good to see you. Hope you have something to drink. Otherwise, expect a possible pilot deviation. Oh, you haven't. Um, No, just type in podcast, Beelzy. I thought you'd listen to all of them before. Uh, the first one is just about me introducing me to everybody. The second one is a true crime podcast. And now I've just changed to just interviewing other streamers and members of the community here or anywhere else. Uh, exclamation, exclamation podcast. Sorry about that. <laughs> there you go, BLC. Thank you. And it's available on all anywhere there's podcasting it's available there um if you you know if you don't have an apple podcasting or whatever just uh search google search lost in the dryer podcast it's on all the major podcasting channels or whatever you call it oh yeah the casual criminalist he's got a staff and an english accent yeah Oh, no, you made it to 13, but forgot your oxygen. I am at, um, bumping on nine right now. I should be good. I'm just going to do a touch and go at this airport. I know I said I was going to do a full stop at each airport. But with the issues we had with the plane early on, I think I'll just do a touch and go. A 
POD alien. So I really did enjoy episode two doing doing the research and everything for the true crime, but it's a lot of work, a lot of research, a lot of time involved. And, you know, when you stream as much as I do, especially with Microsoft Flight Sim, when you're flight planning and trying to think of new ideas and fresh places to fly and stuff like that, it really does take a lot of time off stream to come up with some of these flight plans. And so I found myself, you know, researching for true crime and, and doing this is difficult. So I decided just to stick to interviewing people, which I really enjoyed it. According to Little Nav, 10,005 should be high enough. Cool. Oh, that would be cool, Viper. Thinking about getting a nasal canula from Sporties and a fish... That would be really awesome, Viper, to do that. Do I do tarmac donuts? I don't, Liam. I don't, but I don't mind if other people do it, but I don't. I try to fly. Okay. So y'all know if you've been with me for a while, you know that I don't fly 100% real, right? But I try to fly in as much realism as I know in real life, uh, eh, whatever, however much my knowledge will let me. And I know in real life, I would not be doing donuts on the tarmac for very long before, you know, I got myself in trouble. So no, I don't, I don't. Although I don't mind if you do, of course. Oh, Oz, let me know. Keep me informed on how high you go. Oh, you got 9337 as the airport altitude on um, this, of oh, the final airport. Oh, thank you, Beelzy. True crime group flights. Joey Bolo, dude, that's an absolutely. Wow, you know, that would be pretty. That, that's a, um, that's something I've never seen anyone do. <laughs> right, thank you, Viper. I appreciate that. I know, Speedy, I probably do. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Um, out the um, pressure reading there, uh, Chronico. Yeah, and Viper, I appreciate that. And, you know, it's really amazing to me to look at when I first started flight simming. And I wish I had saved. Well, actually, I did save them all. When I first started flight simming on stream to where I am now is a huge, huge difference. Really big. The maintenance team already has the new plane ready. So with this plane, with this mod that I have, um, the landing gear will actually stress each time you land and will eventually break. And when it breaks, depending on which gear breaks, your prop will hit the tarmac and bend. And then you have to exit out like I was doing earlier. You have to exit out of the sim and back in to a fresh plane. You just giving away ideas since you don't know when you'll stream again. Joey Bolo, that really is a cool idea, but it would be really, really difficult for me to stay on track with chat and telling a true crime tale. Although that would be pretty, that's a pretty freaking cool idea, Joey. Really, really cool idea. Reading and flying that's that safe, right? Death Row it is. Uh, people in real life do that. There are times that you'll need to break out the POH, the pilot's operating handbook, and, you know, read something or, uh, you know, whatever, or a navigational chart. Sim Caesar still does as part of his channel because he's Sim. Nice. Child free. Can you not do? Wait a minute. I'm so, I misunderstood. What do you What do you say in Oz? I'm sorry, I missed out. You want me to show it, or can are you asking? Can I turn it off? Oh, 
Oh yeah, we are approaching the next airport. Uh, next airport is 4,395 feet altitude. So I'm going to go ahead and start descending. I think I should be good to descend. I wonder what the approach looks like on this airport. Oh yeah, we're coming out of the mountains for just a minute. So I'm just going to stay on the track I'm on. I should be good to go ahead and start descending. Oh, oh, oh. So Oz, um, keeping it... So the developer, Oz, what they decided was to keep it immersive. If you broke something, it would typically take several days, you know, to get it repaired. And of course, they didn't want you to not be able to fly the plane for a couple days while it gets repaired. But you do have to exit out of the sim, not out of the sim, but you do have to exit out of the, you know, go back to the world map and then come back into the sim for the plane to be repaired if you break landing gear. 13,000 feet, no engine. Oh no, what? Yeah, if that was me right now who lost my engine, I would, uh, it would be one of my best landings. Because that's just how I am. <laughs> Whenever I have a failure and my plane dies, uh, those are usually my best landings under pressure. I know I really am Viper. I'm really good at forced landings. Find a flat stop, flat spot, and hope there's a submarine nearby. You have a disability, but you fly for yourself because besides a streamer follower and you never had Sim as a youth. Yeah, Liam, I never did either. I, I never even... So I had heard of flight sims, but I thought it was just the, you know, I thought it was more gamey than it is. I didn't realize it was so true to life that it is. And I know it's not perfectly true to life, but it's way, way, way more immersive than what I thought it was. Broke something on your sim. You haven't been able to start the game in normal mode since the last, oh no, really Spider Steve? Oh, ColecoVision. Yeah, see, I thought it was... So I had ColecoVision growing up too, Liam. That's pretty awesome. You've been simming since you were eight. See, I'm so jealous of people like you, Viper. I wish I had. Uh, Chronico, so uh, it, it happened to Cappy Stick. Cappy Stick had that happen to him. Gonna have to go and chauffeur Miss Oz around now. You'll pause the sim and do the Lucula landing later. No problem, Oz. <laughs> Oz, no, actually, I'm gonna be depriving you of a laugh because you gotta go when I try to land at Lucula, but no problem, man. I totally understand. Oz, man, I am so happy that you joined the community a couple streams ago. Uh, really nice to have you here. Thank you for flying along, and I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Be safe out there. Yeah, Ori, me too. Computers filled rooms were barely out of vacuum. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I didn't think about that. I just, I know, uh, oh, uh, thank you, Oz. I know Oz from, um, Captain Arash. And uh, several other streamers is how is how I know Oz, but I, I didn't realize that. I didn't think about that, Viper. Only some pixels. Oh, you're thinking of Oz Wookie. Okay, Viper, thank you for clarifying. All right, so this is just gonna be a touch and go for me at this airport. Y'all uh, feel free to do what you want to do here. You can do a full stop uh, or you can do a touch and go as well. Again, I'm just going to do a touch and go and I will be landing uh, runway 20. Runway 20. It looks like there's no wind right now, but the winds were out of the south. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Yep, I just had the same thing everyone else had. <laughs> That's a challenge. Holy moly. What the heck? Used to line up the dining room chairs behind the PC for your cabin. Oh, that's really cool, Viper. That's a that's a pretty cool concept. Now my flaps are working. This should be a much slower landing than my other one was. It goes away 1,500 feet up from the airport. That's really crazy how it loaded in like that. You'll be one notch above bingo. Oh, no problem, Ori. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, hopefully live weather gets a little bit better with Sim Update 10. But still, but still, it's still absolutely amazing. I try not to complain too much about Flight Sim because, I mean, they... They have done a phenomenal job overall. When you look at the whole picture, it's really mind blowing. Are you safe you landed? Nice. This is bingo fuel, military term for sucking fuels, fumes. I understand. Oh, really? You showed it to your mom and she wasn't impressed with this sim? Holy moly. Everyone I've ever showed this sim is super impressed. Although, I mean, I got to give it to her, though. Video games have come a long ways. They're super, they are really realistic looking. All right, here we go. Little touch and go action here, then we'll keep on flying. Not sure you can start back up after that oil. Yeah, you may have to um, load out and then load back in to be able to uh, restart. You're not the first person that I've seen that has over revved their engine, over stressed it, and uh, blew oil all over the plane, though. That was better than the last one. Nothing like a double touch there. Landing twice. Get a two in one. Much better, right? Oh yeah, Ori, it's totally, it is totally amazing. Most of my students know that I'm a flight simmer, but most of them really don't, they don't care. And I'm not gonna, I have to be really careful about talking about flight sim or, or streaming, excuse me, streaming at work because I don't want anyone in admin or especially a student complaining to someone in admin that I'm self-promoting. So I do mention that I stream when I do my introduction to new students, I do, you know, mention that I stream on Twitch and then I just leave it at that. And if the student wants to ask me, then, you know, they can ask me, but I have, I just have to be careful at it. You're running at the recommended RPM, no high end at 135 knots. Oh, wow. Okay. No, no, no. My channel is not listed in the syllabus. You were talking to your neighbor's late neighbor. He got Microsoft. Oh, 
Oh, death crow. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be dead. You're gonna have to load out and then load back in for it to for it to come back up. Kind of like I had to do. Okay, so we are gonna fly over some mountains again. And then once we clear the mountains, we'll be in a valley. I'll tell y'all when when uh, we'll be in the valley. Of course, if you got the flight plan loaded in, you'll know when we're going to be in the valley. Did I look into... You thought everyone was here was one of my students. Oh, God. I hope y'all... Uh, I hope y'all don't... Well, I, I mean, I really do hope you learn something from me, the good things. But don't learn anything bad from me. No bad habits. Did I look into aircraft engines versus cars? Um, oh, are you asking, did I look into being a, uh, an air and, and, uh, an aircraft mechanic instead of being an automotive mechanic? If that's what you mean, no, I did not. Oh, thank you, Chronico. Yeah, I can see it starting to break now. As long as your zone's running and you're making good parts. Oh, yeah. Now, if I was at the dealership still, Ori, it wouldn't be a problem at all for me to self-promote. I mean, they, would, they wouldn't they would care as long as I'm doing my job. But um, I have found where I work now, working for the state, it's um, it's kind of political. So I just have to be careful. And and I've learned, I've learned in which ways to keep my mouth shut and in which ways it's okay to talk about things. Oh, nice, Viper. That's pretty awesome. What do you say about that? It really is Super Typhon. Yeah, it's it's very appropriate music for this region. Oh, look at the differences between the type of engines. Um, There are, so I don't know that much about radial engines. I, I'm, I am intrigued at radial engines, but for the most part... What I understand anyways, is the automotive and the airplane engines are very similar. Of course, they all operate the same, that the basics are the same spark, compression, you know, fuel. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't. That was a long answer to your question. You get in trouble for talking back to a radio program. <laughs> yeah, suck, squeeze, suck, squeeze, bang, blow, exactly. Yeah, but Muat, the, yeah, sorry about that. That was a um, very long answer to your question, but no, I have not. But my understanding is... that the, at least the general aviation engines anyways, instead of being V-shaped or horizontally opposed, much like a Volkswagen uh, Beetle engine used to be, and the Porsche engines are, still are. So I am very familiar with those. Yeah, horizontally opposed, yeah. And so back when I was a teenager, I was big into Volkswagen Bugs. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, yeah, Boxer, exactly, Muet, yep. And if y'all haven't seen the video of my old bug, I, I dug up, I accidentally found a video from 1985. I've, I've kind of pinpointed it to 1985 in my 1972 Volkswagen bug that I had super hot rodded. I've got a really short 25 second video of it in my discord under the video channel. If you want to see me as a, I think I was 15, 16 then. Oh, does it really, Viper? I didn't know that. Thank you for that information. Yeah, I'm going to jump out of the plane now. Um, just so we can enjoy these views. I mean, that's the whole purpose in me creating these flight plans. Is to enjoy these amazing views of the Himalayan mountains. And also, if you want to now... You can fly into the valley. We're, we're going to be flying in valleys now for quite a while. If you want to fly directly to the next airport, of course, by all means do it. But my flight plan kind of zigzags us around the long way to Lukla. Just so we can enjoy 
some scenery along the way. Y'all know me. I'm all about some scenery, right? Oh, dude, you had a 66 split window? What? Oh, that's good information to know, Viper. I didn't realize that. Thank you for uh, posting that. Yeah, man, I would love to have had a split window, even an oval. I would have loved to have, have an, would have loved to have had an oval window as well. But yeah, dude, an original split. Oh, a split window bus. Holy crap. I didn't realize I just saw the split window. I skipped the bus part. Yeah, split window bus is way, way more valuable than a split bug. Yeah, so a Vanagon, a Vanagon engine is just like the old Volkswagen bugs and everything. Same engine. The Vanagon had the same engine as the bugs and all the other old school Volkswagens had. The pan frame was rusted. You, you bolted your grandma's bed frame to reinforce it. Oh, that's cool. Split went with, <laughs> yeah, or yeah, I know, right? Split and see, I, I'm not a big Corvette fan. And part of the reason is I'm such a big guy. I have never fit, even when I wasn't as bulky as I am when I was a skinny teenager. I was so tall, I didn't fit in the Corvettes well. So I've never really been a Corvette fan just because they don't fit me well. But yeah, that's funny. How do you, a split window is a, is a Corvette. To me, a split window is a bug or a Volkswagen van. A one liter air cooled, uh, 1200. Oh, wait a minute. Now you're talking about the Volkswagens. It's a, um, a four cylinder. A 1200 cc and it really depends on what year but mine was originally a 1200 cc uh horizontally opposed four cylinder my bug was you had a 75 super bug back in the 80s yeah uh the only thing I, i'm not a, it's not that i dislike super beetles the only things that the reasons i didn't care for a super beetle is the Super Beetles had a rounded windshield and they also had McPherson struts and a rolled front end. I didn't care for the rolled front end nor the rounded windshield. The regular, the non Super Beetles had flat windshields and straight front ends instead of rolled under. Oh yeah, I don't fit in a Camaro either. I mean, I've driven them and I do enjoy driving the Camaro which I enjoy driving a Corvette too, just because I like the power and the speed. But uh, yeah, I don't fit in a Camaro e very well either. Moo King, is that you, Mooette? Did you change your name to Moo King? So we got uh, Moo King flying along. We got Kroniko. We got Crunch. Uh, Rock Spider, a Texan one. Or, yeah, Texan one. Uh, Death Crow, Detective 42. Uh, these are Haddon. And I think I'm a little low. So we may have more people that are already over there at the airport that we just can't see because of the mountains. But I know a lot of people also were going direct to as well. Okay, you're on the ground. Okay, gotcha. The MK5 Jetta was the last one that had independent rear suspension after that went to a live axle. Yeah, the bugs were super cheap back in the back in the 80s. Man, I uh, anyways. If I if and, and we could say this a lot, you know, as older adults, if I know if I knew then what I know now, a lot of things would be different. But it's easy, you know, hindsight's 2020. Hey, Spider Steve, it doesn't matter. A 75 Beetle now is worth a chunk of change, so. 
exactly viper yeah all your gi joes would be mint right i wouldn't play with any of my toys i would have just read books or something oh someone put a vw 1.9 tdi in a 172 oh that's cool oh nice A 2180cc conversion? Dude, that would be a sick ride right there. Mine. I think mine was a 14, maybe a 1400cc. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it would haul some butt. I can't imagine what a 2180 would do. I had dual carbs on it. There were only single barrel carburetors though, but I had two single barrel Solex carburetors on it. Um, it was, it was awesome. But the floor pans were totally rusted out which was not uncommon in those vehicles. Oh, you had to climb back up to flight level 120. There's a ridge between you and the valley that Luke lives in. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ori. That's interesting, Viper. So, because diesels don't have high operating RPMs, are they just using um, reduction gears to to spin the prop quicker? How are they how are they overcoming the the lower RPM of a diesel engine? Geared, yeah, okay, yep, that's that that makes sense. Just using re gear reduction. The Aero V, that's cool. I'll have to look at the Aero V up. They're also running Jet A, not auto diesel. Yeah, but the still though, you have to have super high compression for fuel to auto ignite without using a spark plug. And so that's the reason that the RPMs are limited in the diesel is because it's such high compression, it would blow the heads right off. So they have to overcome the low RPM somehow. And I guess that's how they're doing it with, yeah, twin turbos dude, especially with the twin turbo. That's even more pressure. So they gotta be gearing it to make the prop spin. That's pretty cool, really cool. I, I gotta look that up, look into that. Piper Warrior has the factory option for a continental engine. Interesting. I am so torn right now about whether to stay low in the valley or fly above the peaks of the mountains I'm at right now so I can see the bigger ones off in the distance. I love flying peak. I mean, I love flying valleys, but I did this flight plan so we could enjoy the height of the Himalayan mountains. So I think I'll fly low right now and then adjust as needed. Max RPM on the CD 33880. Yeah, so see, they've got to be doing something with gear reduction on the props to overcome that um, low engine RPM. With my Volkswagen bug engine, um, my valves would, and I mentioned this a while back on stream, the valves would float, meaning the engine RPM was so fast that the valves wouldn't close all the way and I'd lose power and get backfiring through the, through the carburetors at 6,000 RPM. So I figured out that Chevrolet valve springs would fit perfectly 
in there instead of my stock VW valve springs. And of course, being a young technician, not thinking about the extra pressure that the lifters were going to put on the camshaft, didn't think about that. I went ahead and put the Chevrolet valve springs on there, which then I could run it up to 7,500 RPM and then the valves would float. But over time, it actually ate one of the lobes of my camshaft up. And then I just parked it and I sold it for nothing, hardly. Turbo arrow for my flight tomorrow. Oh, that's it. I may do that, Cappy Stick. I destroyed the camshaft. Yep. One of the lobes got worn all the way out. I mean, it was pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Spider Steve, yep. So the push rods are, the push rods are, but it's the lifter itself that's, that's, that's hard. And see, the thing about flying something other than the Cessna 172 is on the nights that I have to work the next day, I really don't have a lot of time to learn a new plane. No, 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 no. This wasn't an overhead cam. It was, uh, all right. So the way it works is you've got, um, you've got lifters that run on the camshaft lobe. And then the, the push rod connects from the lifters to the rocker arms. And then the rocker arms push the, push the valve springs. Yep. So honestly, I was probably lucky I didn't bend a push rod. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Ori, that is gorgeous, man. Holy crap. And you're approaching Lukla right now? Wow, what a sight. Oh, that's okay. That's all right, Viper. Approaching the valley it's in. Oh, dude. Sesgo, way too dank for you. What's up, Sesgo? So we'll see. I may end up flying this plane tomorrow. Um, I'll just see. Just because I've flown the Turbo Arrow one time, but I'm not as familiar with this as I am with this aircraft. And I'm not going to have a whole lot of time for learning curves tomorrow, but we'll see. You don't think 172 flies that high? You don't know? Uh, 14,000, 14,000 is the ceiling for the 172. And thankfully this flight plan, the, uh, minimum safe. What did I say? The minimum safe was hang on a minute. Minimum safe is 13,000. So we should be good. Although getting to 13,000 is going to be sketch, but we won't have to go that high. <laughs> Viper, I can't wait to get to class tomorrow. No, actually, I don't have students uh, for another two weeks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cappy Steak, dude, I, 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 I totally appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get it. Yeah, definitely not going to be making much power at 14,000 feet, but uh, the final airport is 9337 feet, 9,337 feet. So we'll be good. We'll be good today. Death grow too much for you, too much crash and engine issues. No problem, man. Hey, at least you learned something today, right? Oh, Ori, really? 2,500 at 13,000 doing 89 knots. That's nice. Thank you for that. You 
Now I just have to nav nav navigate my way through this valley. Oh, no, please post images. Uh, post them to my Discord, Ori. I love, I love images. So if, if you're in my Discord, post them, man. Post them away. Chunky, what is happening, man? How are you doing? Good to see you. Chunky Aviation, leader, the boss of the FS Thunderbirds. I was just talking about the air show in November on the Microsoft Light Sim official channel, Chunky. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Uh, let me give the Thunderbirds a shout out. Y'all go check out the Flight Sim Thunderbirds. I am a member of the Thunderbirds. I'm Thunderbird number eight. Oh, that's okay, Chunky. I, I understand, man. And uh, dude, I totally, I apologize about Tuesday. I totally forgot about Tuesday's practice. But with me not with me not having sim update, uh, not having the beta for sim update ten, I figured this. Yeah, I know there's really no not a whole lot I can do right now, anyways, until it drops. So thank you for giving me permission to not be at any of the practices for a little while. Tuesday was election day, so uh, November. The first Tuesday in November is election day for us. I, we, to my knowledge, we didn't have any primaries here. On Tuesday anyways. I mean, we've had, I think we've got some coming up. I should know more about that than I do. I'm embarrassed. Oh, you worked the polls. Cool. Yeah, I don't think we get, oh no, you know, we did. We did have, because the polling places on our college, but we still had class on that day for the primaries. What a noob. Do I even know what I'm talking about? Oh, Ori, I gotta check this one out. Holy crap. See, that's why I chose here to fly was for views like that. Wow. Y'all check out the picture that Ori just posted. Wow, man, that is phenomenal. I better, I was going to cut across this valley. I better keep on flying where I'm at though. Staff, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Uh, yeah, we did have primaries. I just wasn't thinking we had primaries a while back. I'm so y'all and I, I mean this. I know you, you probably think I just say things like this, but I totally mean it. I am so engrossed in flight simming that sometimes I totally miss out on things that I should be more educated on. But yeah, we had one. I don't know a while back because we had a runoff the, the following week. Yeah. Staff, you getting ready for work? No problem, dude. Oh, in Hawaii. Okay. I'm not familiar with what y'all are talking about. Is that, um, 
is that mail-in voting that you're talking about or or what i have i'm not familiar with okay it is okay gotcha thank you to my no oh absentee by mail okay, all right gotcha so we do of course we do have absentee uh by mail voting but it's not automatically sent in south carolina you do have to request it wow that's interesting automatically <laughs> that's interesting Right, yeah, Viper. I think it's the same way here. It used to be that you had to have a reason for mail-in voting, but yeah, I think it's the same way here with COVID. It's pretty much um, you just request and, and no questions asked. They send you one. Paradox flying the F-18. Nice, nice flyby Paradox. I love it. yeah speedy i loved your tower so i've got a section in my discord for people to post their uh stream setups or their pc builds even and spider steve oh, not spider steve speedy has a really cool has a really cool tower it's totally clear which mine has smoked glass on the sides but i've never seen a 100 percent clear computer case that was really cool yeah i liked it a lot yeah, staff, if wake turbulence was a thing in the sim, uh, many, many times on stream, I would be dead. I mean, yeah, I'm, mine's, mine's pretty plain too. I don't have to have anything fancy because honestly, y'all can't see my PC. Oh, wow. I must've hit, did I hit my, uh, my control cam no that's that's the way it has been okay never mind it looked like my control cam was out of whack but it's not so my pc is pretty with a bunch of lights and stuff but it's not like anyone ever sees it so i keep them on white yours doubles as a nightlight that's right viper mine too Okay, while we're talking about shutting off and, and night lights and stuff, let, let's talk about this. So is it best to leave your PC on most of the time or should you shut it off each day? So what I do, RGB is not a priority at your age. Yeah, Spider Steve, it's not for me either, but it came with, it came with my original PC build. So I said, you know what, may as well just keep with it but yeah i totally get what you're saying me either yeah so i'm not really worried about energy i've just seen kind of both ways on why you should or should not turn your pc off after every time you use it or each day or whatever Oh, uh, would you do a film Amazon stream? Also, you enjoy the piece and other people's joke on Microsoft group races. Um, yeah, you know, I'll eventually do a stream in South America and the Amazon of course would be a part of it, but it may be a little while on that. Uh, Liam, but I appreciate you asking. I do have an area in my discord where you can post stream suggestions. That's probably the best place to post it where I, where I will where I will remember it. Cause I have so many people give me suggestions that sometimes by the time stream's over and I wind down, I forget about them. Energy conservation is really the only reason to shut it. Okay. Yeah, mine's not water cooled. Oh, 
Oh no, you crashed. What? Oh no, Ori, dang. They did film streams over Discord. Oh, that's cool. I think he means that they film streams uh, in Discord. Like they streamed from Discord instead of on... Uh, like that they streamed in Discord instead of streaming in uh, on Twitch. I think. I could be wrong on that. Oh, that's a beautiful... Man, them, them pictures are amazing. And it could be the language barrier too, Viper. Man, this is beautiful. Are there a lot of people at Lukla right now? Yeah, we'll see. This will be my first landing there. <laughs> Viper. So, what I read about shutting them off after each time is it takes a lot of... Like, there's a voltage spike when you turn them on. And eventually, the voltage spike is going to wear out your equipment. But then, on the other hand, leaving it on... So, yeah, I think I'll just leave it on then. Good, good points, good points. Shut it down after the temperature stabilizes. Okay. See, I like, I like these differences. Captain America, thank you for I like that. Captain America, I like that uh, username. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Spider Steve, thermal expansion BS. Old wives' tale, leave it on all the time. Old wives' tale to leave it on all the time. Okay. So typically what I do is after streams over, um, I do, you know, shut everything down and then I do shut the PC off as well. And then I'll usually either turn it on the next day or <clears throat> next time I stream a few hours before I stream, I'll turn it on just to, um, get stream ready and everything. Oh yeah, staff, I can understand that for sure. Okay, well, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the opinions. I was just curious about that. Coconut, welcome back in. How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you again, welcome back. Happy Sunday to you. Yeah, it's not that I'm warming them up. It's not that I'm doing it to warm them up like a, a tube or anything. I just do it um, mostly because I've got a lot of things that I turn on and get loaded up. Like it takes a few minutes for the sim to load and then I don't know. You, you're just a little bit too late. We're getting close to the final destination airport, but there's still time if you'd like to jump in and fly. We're landing at one of the most difficult airports to land at in the world. From my understanding, I've, I've not tried it yet myself.
Gotcha, Speedy. Thank you. How far am I from Lukla? Yeah, join join on in. We are uh 15 24 about 42 nautical miles away about 42 nautical miles away <laughs> Kylo, I am too. Have you ever heard of the term flying the Harveys? I have not, Liam. Uh, wh what What is that? I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I have never, I've never flown this airport, never seen it. I take that back on five i think it was fabio's stream a while back months and months ago he did a group flight into lukla but i was work lurking so i really didn't get an opportunity to watch the approach so this is going to be totally new to me being dealing with a bug to fly the 172 after you're in real oh nice how did your irl flight go yeah speedy i'm self-taught too the hard way i learned everything the hard way the approach is relatively straightforward. Controlling the power is hard. Yeah, I can imagine. Coconut. They just released a new version of it that I downloaded right before stream today that will actually break the landing gear. Uh, if you land too hard, your landing gear will actually break like in real life. And also over time with, with, I think it's 500 landings, your landing gear will eventually just wear out stress and break too. It went very, very well. You were in a 172 F you got to do your first landing and take off from a grass strip. Dude, that's awesome. Congratulations on that. Stay on the left of the valley coming in and land faster than you normally would. Okay. Thank you. So is that. Okay, land faster because it's an uphill um, approach, right? 500 two hard landings. That's that's right, Wambi. It is that is correct. I remember seeing that now. It had to be 500 landings that were too hard. Scray, classy. How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome back. Good to see you. Happy Sunday to you. The one you saw, the pilot was steering and controlling the plane, and the co-pilot at the same time was. Wait a minute controlling the throttle oh wow really nowhere close to stall okay thank you gotcha yeah because i can always come off the power really quickly and hit the brakes uh because it is uh it looks like a pretty sick whoops talking too much not looking where i'm going it is a pretty much a uh a really steep approach or the, the, uh, the runway is, excuse me. I totally missed my turn back here. As fire Sandy would say too much talk. We're approaching downhill to uphill. Yes, Chronico. Yes. I think that's the only way to approach. I mean, I guess you could approach the other way, but you'd, you'd no way you'd make it. So yeah, we're approaching downhill to uphill. That's the only way to approach this airport in my, from what I understand. Oh, thank you staff. Too much talk, too much flaws. Yeah, Fire Sandy, like, she's always posting 
Less talk, more flying, Scruffy. Very nice. First time coming here as well. Yeah, man. I, I'm really excited about this. All rules, no flight, right? One of these days, I'm going to do an all rules, no flight stream. We'll just sit on the runway and do nothing. I'll be barefoot. Right, Piper. <laughs> oh, there's Fire Sandy. Fire Sandy, I didn't realize you were in here. I was just talking about you. Welcome back. I was just talking about you. I missed my turn because I was talking, Fire Sandy. Can you believe that? And I was saying that you would be reminding me to stop talking so much and just fly. All checklist and manuals, no flight, right? But I love how everyone has everyone has a place, you know, in flight sim. Setting up a new program. What program are you setting up, Fire Sandy? Oh no no no! I don't take that as crapping on another streamer. It's just you know we we all we all have our own things. I'm the I'm the guy that's you know slow l very slowly learning the 172 and the the process and the everything of flying. And then you have someone like Fabio who has been a pilot for a, a while, and his streams are more educational. So no, Shoni just slow. Man, I miss Shoni. Oh, Valanta, nice. I'll be glad when uh I'll be glad when Shoni starts back streaming again. It should be soon, I hope. Yours are what not to do. Uh, hey, mine are mine were that way too, staff, for a long time, and they sometimes still are. <laughs> right Viper, he does. Well, I love Shoney so much. He's he's such a great guy. And I'm so thankful that as my channel has grown, I've gotten to know and not meet in person yet, but gotten to know a lot of other flight simmers like Two-Tone Murphy and some of the other, you know, bigger channel guys. It's really cool. Uh, Liam, I have never cleared my browser cookies on this computer. And it's really because I don't use this PC for anything except stream stuff. Oh, Ori, I thought you were on my Discord, too. No worries. It happens, though. I understand. I find myself following people that I thought I already followed. Rule one, don't fly the Corsair. So, yeah, seriously, literally the only thing I use this computer for. Don't be Kendo flying the Corsair. Yeah, I saw him doing some uh, old school military flying today. I didn't get a chance to be really active in his stream, but I was I was in there watching. I know I just eat them. Yeah, I don't delete them. I just eat them. I take the Dell part out and just eat them. That was a totally lame joke. Yeah, if you're looking to crash, if you're going to crash the Corsair, you got to look cool doing it, right? At least it makes cool crash noises. Okay, I'm going to pitch up a little bit because I'm a little bit low right now. <clears throat> I'm going to pitch up to get up to uh, 9,000, about 9,500 feet, I think is where the altitude is. They've actually added prop bending to the very near study level mod. 
actually when i loaded the sim in before stream and it comes to where you click fly you know in the bottom left hand bottom right hand corner the prop was actually bent before i hit fly i said what i hope my prop's not going to be bent when i load in but it wasn't once i hit fly it it went uh, straight oh exactly staff hey i mean you you never will learn anything i tell my students this you'll never learn anything if you don't try and if you fail Try it again. Oh, that'll be a challenge. You had to help a streamer once with his browser's cookie. The cookie monster from Sesame Street was not in sight. nice thank you ori i really appreciate you putting those those in there oh yeah fire sandy this would be total hell for you fire sandy does not like killer mountains but panda you never know if you can land it there or not without trying so go ahead and give it a try Looks like we do have some company over here at uh, Lukla. Yeah, I wondered if Seppi was going to be with you. I totally missed Seppi's stream, staff. Uh, by the time he started stream, we were we were in church already. And after afterwards, we came home and we had the grandkids. So I totally missed his stream. And man, I'm disappointed that I missed it. All we do here is assess the killing mountains, right, Chronico? Texans on final, nice. Oh, this one's easy compared to uh, Church of All France. There was one that I did that was a real challenge for me. Does anyone remember what what airport that was? I, I dedicated the start of a stream to one where you have to fly over over a hill and then immediately dive and land i don't remember what airport it was but i did that challenge it's, it's a challenge in microsoft flight sim lots of people in lukla a lot of them are probably part of the community here and then of course there's, there's some people otherwise as well yes saint bart that's it no i don't think it was yeah it was saint bart that's it that's it saint bart That's the one, yeah, St. Bart. I totally failed at it. I can't remember what plane I was in. It may have even been in this plane. But that was a tough landing. I enjoyed it, but it was tough. Try St. Bart's in the twatter. Oh yeah, that one's harder than Lukla. Okay, good. Well, then I uh, I feel better then. I don't have a quote command. I probably should. Hello, Liam. Thank Hello. you for the lurk. I appreciate that. Oh, I missed the test question. Sorry about that. When speaking to a flight service weather briefer. You should state. Oh, oh gosh, I don't remember the answer to that, Viper. Um, no, I don't think. Ah, shoot. Speaking to a flight service weather briefer, you should state the pilot in command's full name and address, summary of your qualifications, whether the flight is VFR or IFR. I don't think they care whether you're VFR or IFR. I know they don't care about your qualifications. I'm kind of torn between A and C. I'm torn between A and C. Is there a pilot in here that knows the correct answer? Okay, so Coconut, you're saying C. 
so coconut is um coconut is a pilot in training so i'm gonna go with what coconut said this is oh you know what this is true viper this is true Gasper, did you land uh, successfully? Texan, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid, my friend. How are you doing? Good to see you, Texan. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that, y'all. Texan is a fellow Flight Sim streamer. Great guy has been playing along for us been playing along been flying along with us for a while go give texan a follow welcome on in texan good to see you pro stream right i can't even talk you're gonna die fire cindy i think i think i i might too i might too I'd like to specify you've done zero book reading years of flight sinking understand there we go there's a shout out for texan oh 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 what's up texan welcome back man thank you for that thank you for that uh for that raid yeah i can tell you right now i am I'm struggling to there we go I'm, I'm better now I gotta climb though look over oh no you overshot the runway and slammed into the wall no oh let's see here oh yeah fire sandy I see you over there I saw you in All right, staff, have a wonderful evening at work, my friend, and I'll be in touch with you soon. I'll be in touch with you soon, staff, about uh, being my guest on podcast next. Thank you, man. Take care. Um, Liam, I'm not sure what you're asking. You have to ask, are those two jets in fingertip? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're asking, Liam. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to fly over to the left of this peak. <laughs> oh, are the two jets in formation? Gotcha. Thank you, Muet. I mean, thank you, Cappy Stick. What's up, big Papa Polly? How are you doing? Trying to a new sim here? No, go ahead and jump in, fly along with us, Rough Rider. Welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the introduction. Welcome on in. Uh, Papa Polly, we are very close. No, that's okay, Liam. We are very close to the final destination. Oh shoot! I thought that was a. I thought there was a valley right there. We're very close to our final destination. Everyone's welcome to fly along, but we're very close to our final airport. So just know that. Whoa. Flying around at Mach 9, trying to figure out the Dark Star. Oh, nice, Rough Rider. That's cool. I have flown the Dark Star one time. I'm not a fan. The elevation is 9,337 feet. I've got to climb. Yeah, Big Papa Polly. Yeah, I've seen Big Papa Polly in there before. Good to have you with us, Big Papa. And so everyone's always welcome to fly along with me. Uh, no rules, just flight. 
There you go. 9,337. 9,337. Doc Holliday is smart. He's got the Kodiak. Yes. I'm close. I got 300 feet to go. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I'm glad it's snow capped too. I was hoping it would be. I need to be at about 10,000 before the turn. Okay, thank you. I should be there. I should be at around 10,000 by then. Almost at 95 now. You met a guy who flew the Hornet back in Desert Storm chat. And he's busy because he works for a precinct in Louisiana somewhere. Oh, cool. A precinct in Louisiana somewhere. Nice. You prefer the GA stuff, but like to try out the fast toys now and again. Yeah, Rough Rider. So I got in the Dark Star and really didn't understand what the heck I was doing. And I crashed it. I'm just not. It's not really for me. I like general aviation stuff. Hey, DCM. Welcome in, my friend. How are you doing? Good to see you. We are approaching our final airport destination of this evening. We're approaching Lukla in India. I figured I'd challenge myself today. Oh, yeah. Big Papa Polly, please do. Hang out and enjoy the landings. Uh, thank you for jumping in, man. Always good to see you. Yeah, thank you, DCM, for jumping in, checking out the stream. Y'all, I'll be back tomorrow evening, same time, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time, which is midnight Zulu is when we'll be starting back. Medium flaps at most stay above 85. All right. Oh, nice. Oz, yeah. You haven't missed it, dude. Welcome back. I'm glad you had a safe trip. Wow. Look at these views. All right, I'm at 10,000, so I'm going to stay. I'm going to try to stay right at 10. You can't make enough power to climb up the runway. Oh, no, Ezra Howden. No. That's kind of what I'm afraid of. So I'm trimming back down to, to gain some speed right now you got to slew up the runway all right so uh you were saying to come in from the left side not the right is that correct Oh, stay on the left side of the valley. Okay, gotcha. Because I was going to say that would be the way the runways turned. A left approach would be really tough. It's okay. I'm with you.
yeah this should be interesting i hate that i didn't make it here first uh to be able to to be able to get in the drone and watch everyone come in but yeah th that that should be quite a show for sure There we go. I couldn't see the runway to begin with. Oh, I'm really high. I am really high. I shouldn't have a problem, that's for sure. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, well, I think I just broke my plane. <laughs> I love look at the effects though look we've got we've got smoke effects too what actually I was just wanting to demonstrate I was just wanting to demonstrate this ski echo thank you for the follow check this out y'all I'm really impressed. I'm super impressed with this. I sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> All right, let me jump into the drone. Uh, Moo King, thank you for the follow also. I appreciate that. Sorry, uh, sorry that was such a rough landing, y'all. That was, that was pretty rough. I was way too high and way too fast, but I, I didn't really know what to expect. Thank you for the follow, Moo King and Ski Mecco. Thank you for the follow also. Uh, passengers, I think we're gonna crash. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Yeah, Ori, I was, uh... Oh, well, it's okay. It was a lot of fun. Either way, it was a lot of fun. Here comes Panda. Hey, we had fun and that's all that matters, right? Look, you can still see the smoke from my plane. Did I get an achievement? No, no, I didn't get an achievement for that. Oh, Viper, thank you for being here, man. I will see you tomorrow night. Sleep well, my friend. Sleep well. Okay, y'all stick around for just a minute. Let me get let me get some screenshots. I love how the smoke coming off my plane, and you can still see it off in the distance. Oh, Kranico, are you coming in? Wait, is someone else smoking too? Who else crashed it smoking? Oh, Geoman. Geoman is also crashed and smoking as well. We got, <laughs> we got all the smoke here tonight. Oh, Moo King. Moo King's kind of cheating there in the in the Harrier. In the in the F-35. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna get let me get some screenshots really quick. Oh, I did break my landing gear too. I didn't notice my landing gear broke. Can't wait to post this for Skipper Jeff. The little park. Yeah, this is, uh, I broke the whole plane, right? You're right. I mean, you're not wrong.
All right. <laughs> this was a real blast, everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. It's fun. We'll take off from here tomorrow, and hopefully the takes off the takeoffs will be a little bit better. It does need fire. That would be awesome. Yeah, very, very well done, WB Sim. No, that's okay. Hey, Kylock, it's no problem at all, dude. I had no idea. I appreciate the help. Uh, but yeah, next time I'll come in a little bit lower. Uh, but no, that's cool, man. I, I really do appreciate the, the advice. Luke Lay is just 140 kilometers from Kathmandu. It really does look great. It's it's a very well done airport. And from what I understand, this is the airport where people that are that are wanting to uh, that are wanting to climb at Mount Everest, this is like where they they fly into here. Right, Oz, I have, are you, oh, no, that's right. You, you're having to continue. You're not, you're not ready to, to come in yet. Okay. All right. I need to, I need to get ready to head out. So once again, thank you to everybody for being here. I appreciate, there we go. I appreciate everybody. Let me give some thank yous really quick. Oh, you're flying there in real life as a passenger in November. You can give him some tips. Don't do what Scruffy did. All right. Uh, Moo King, thank you for the follow. Scheme Echo, thank you for the follow. Rough Rider TM with a follow. Texan, thank you for the raid. Captain America, thank you for the follow. Uh, Kylock Fuller, thank you for the follow. Hammo Time with 100 biddies, thank you for that. Zug Zug, thank you for the follow. Wired, thank you for the follow. Bacon for sure, thank you for the resub. I truly appreciate that. That's what helps keep keep streamers like me going is uh, is is the subs and the bits. Never expected, but always appreciated. Uh, Kev Sim Corner, thank you for the resub. Also, a uh, cup of Jello was taken. Yeah, the uh, the troll. Thank you for the follow. Kent Zone Star with the resub. Robert Fly Lillo, thank you for the re for the follow. Dusty with a follow. Flights with Joel with a 21 viewer. Awesome raid. Thank you for that. Liam, thank you for the follow. Sir Camp Slot with a follow. Cole Fork with 23 viewer raid right after, right before that. Thank you, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow. 8 p.m. Eastern time. Midnight Zulu. Who are we going to raid? Who to raid? Um, 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 um. Let's raid Amaranth. No, I'm just kidding. Totally kidding on that. Oh, uh, you're welcome, Dorafly. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, you know what? Let's just raid Arctic Turn. Oh, wait. Dwayne Cates? Who's Dwayne Cates? Let me look them up. I, I don't know them. That'd be perfect. I like to make new friends. So let me let me find them really quick. Oh, great suggestion. Great suggestion. Thank you for that. We'll, we'll raid Dwayne Cates. All right, let's get this raid going. There we go. Got the raid going. So, uh, if you are a sub, please, please, please post these messages once we get over there. If you're a sub, this is your message. If you're not a sub... This is your message. As I always say, subs are always appreciated, never expected. So let's let's make a new friend over here with Dwayne Cates. Y'all have a wonderful evening. I wish you a great flights, great flights, better landings than I had. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Let's get this raid going, y'all. Y'all take care. The raid starts now. Don't forget to post the emotes, please. See you soon. Take care, everybody.